Let's start off with a new project dialog. In Mari 3.3, when you open the new project dialog, you get the object controls, the channel presets, and the color space settings all combined in this one view. If I select an Lembic file here, you'll see the mesh options have barely any space to actually show the options. The channel presets are completely compressed down, the whole thing is just really cluttered to be in one vertical screen height. If I jump across to Mori 4 now and open the new project dialog, you'll see these three categories now have a tab to themselves. Selecting an object, we have the mesh options with far more space to breathe. Channel presets are all here, and the color settings in the third tab. We've also added a lighting tab. Here you can set an environment map, active light count, as well as the initial shading and lighting mode when the project starts. Now on creating channel presets in Mari 4, an associated shader shall be created alongside your initial channels. Mari will also connect your initial channels to the associated shader inputs. This allows you to get painting right away, without any additional steps that would be required when working in Mari 3.